since you are convinced about emerging markets, including uh, the likes of India, I want to understand how you look at currency. Uh, when one is looking at the rupee as weak as 60, is that sort of a good cheap entry point where you can buy more stocks, you can buy more Indian bonds because you're getting that much more for every dollar or, or pound spent? Or is it a concern because then you're thinking about you know, your returns and the repatriation? We've already seen uh, a very heavy bout of uh, outflows from emerging markets in the immediate aftermath of the volatility. A lot of those outflows have been due to uh, levered investors that, had, that wrongly went in on a speculation that Japanese flows were going to come in. When they didn't, they had to reverse out through a narrow door, causing a big dislocation in pricing. I think that uh, has affected certainly emerging market currencies, including uh, including uh, India's rupee. However, uh, the move has been very dramatic, uh, very sharp, and I think it's probably been a little bit excessive. I think in the near term, as the market sentiment is going to stabilize, uh, then I think there could be, uh, on a tactical basis, uh, a, a, probably a pickup to be made. But I do think if we think about currencies more globally, uh, I think we are still in a world where growth inflation and interest rates and after all these are the underlying fundamental drivers of currencies growth inflation and interest rates are still remarkably low uh, and stable in developed economies and there is still a high level of risk aversion there's still low conviction uh, about the future outlook and that constellation of macroeconomic factors means that flows into emerging markets are going to be slower than they than they were for example in the pre-crisis period and I think until growth, inflation, and interest rates begin to significantly change in developed economies, we are likely to have to think about currency trading in a relatively tactical way. So when it gets sold off too much, then yes, by all means, go in, take on a position. And when, when prices then normalize and return to a more rational level, then uh, you take profits. But I think if you're thinking of it over a longer period of time and you're thinking about it strategically, I think emerging market currencies are bound to have a much stronger performance against developed market currencies for the simple reason that developed markets have so much debt that the only way that they can really bring down that debt level is through a period of inflation. And a period of inflation will translate into more structural weakness in the developed country uh, exchange rates. And that should favor emerging market currencies. But as I said, that's a little bit more of a strategic view because we haven't got inflation yet, we haven't got growth yet, and we haven't got interest rate changes yet in the developed economies.